Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and let me ask, has this ever happened to you? You and a friend love drafting, and you have some packs of a brand new set. Let's say Streets of New Capenna. But there's a problem. It's just the two of you. Normally, to boost your draft, you need eight or at least six people. So what are you gonna do? Try drafting by passing two packs back and forth? Boring. No way. Fear not, because I've got you covered. Introducing three ways for you and a friend, significant other, your mom, arch nemesis, dude you just met while waiting for an airplane, or anyone else to draft magic with, using just three packs and some basic lands for each of you. I've done all of these myself many times, and I can vouch for all of them personally. So what are you waiting for? Call today at 1-800-PHYRXIA. That's 1-800-PHYRXIA. Or just watch the rest of this video. There are a number of ways you can draft with just two people. Let me tell you about my three favorites. First up is Winston Draft, a format designed by Richard Garfield himself. So drafting this way is quite literally as Richard Garfield intended. Here's how it works. You take all six of the packs, open them face down, remove any tokens, then shuffle them all together. These create a central draft stack in the middle. Then you create three face down piles to the right of that stack of one card each from the the top of the draft stack. Select one of you two at random to go first. On your drafting turn, you look at the pile furthest to the right. You can either draft all the cards in that pile and replace it with a new card, or put it face down and take the top card from the draft stack without looking at it and place it on top of that pile you just looked at. Then you can look at the second pile and repeat this process. If you don't take that pile, return it and put a new card on top of it. Then do the same for the third pile. If you don't want the third pile, you take a random card off the top of the draft stack. Then it's the other player's turn to do the same. You repeat this process until all cards are drafted. Then build your 40 card deck using these cards and unlimited basic lands. Over time, as you're drafting, weak piles will go stronger and accumulate more cards, making them more desirable to take. This creates some fun in wondering what's going to be there next, and definitely has a bit of how far can I push it before someone else takes this pile. Winston Draft was invented before basic lands showed up one per pack, so as a house rule, I usually play that if you find a basic land in your pile, you just set it off to the side and grab another card off the top of the stack. That said, some purists leave the basic lands in as whammies that don't do anything when they show up in a pile. So that's up to you. I really like Winston Draft because it does a great job of replicating the kind of hidden information Draft has. You don't know every card your opponent has, and you can kind of guess at which colors they're taking based on which piles they're taking but you can never be sure. Of the three formats I'm going to talk about today, this is the only one with hidden information. It also lets you hate draft piles you think they're really going to want, kind of like a normal draft. There are a lot of interesting decisions to make. The downside is that Winston does tend to take the longest of these three formats. So if you're looking to draft and play quickly, you may want to try one of the other two. But that aside, it's absolutely worth trying. After all, Richard Garfield made it. Up next is two-player Rochester Draft. Rochester Draft is an old magic format that's no longer widely used, which involved opening up a whole pack and having the entire table draft the cards face up. This variant is a riff on that format. It's simple. Like Winston, you open up all six packs and shuffle them together. Select one player to go first, then flip over the top four cards of the draft stack. The starting drafter picks one, the other player picks two, then the starting drafter takes the last one. Then flip over four more cards and repeat, except the other player drafts first this time. Repeat until the stack is empty, then build your deck. Similarly to Winston, I usually replace basic lands when they show up with a card from the top of the stack. One of the biggest advantages to this format, it's so simple. I just explained it in a few sentences, and it's pretty easy to wrap your head around. It also goes pretty fast. The downside is that with its simplicity comes a bit of being on rails. There are minimal decisions to make each time, and save for hate drafting, once players find their colors, it tends to become deterministic who wants each cards. I find this to be a great intro 
format for two-person draft, or especially good for people who are less familiar with the intricacies of drafting. You can even draft this way with a relatively new player and they'll have a good experience. Plus, you can talk about what to take as you're drafting. The it's final format is tool. called Winchester Draft. Why Winchester? Well, it's a hybrid between Winston and Rochester. Fair enough, I suppose. The idea here is to create a bit more choice than two-player Rochester has while making it go faster than Winston. Here's how it works. Like the other formats, you open the packs, shuffle them, make one draft stack, and select a player to go first. Then, you're going to take the top four cards of the draft stack and place them face up in four piles on the table. The starting player picks a pile. When they do, they put a new card from the top of the draft stack in each of the four piles. So three piles now have two cards, and the pile they just took is refilled to one card. Then it's the other player's turn. Repeat until all cards are drafted. This is a great middle ground. It's still fairly simple to learn, but it gets to have some of the elements of Winston still there, with interesting decisions about how long to leave a pile for. It's also a lot faster than Winston. Because of how quickly the piles fill up, it doesn't take long at all. The trade-off from Winston, though, is you do lose all the hidden information, which is certainly a fun element of draft. But generally, these days, I find this is the two-player draft form I do the most. That said, I like all three of these. There's merits to each depending on the players and what you're up for. And these aren't even all of the two-player draft formats out there. For example, if you have two hours and a really competitive friend, you can try fact or fiction draft, where every draft pick is just someone making fact or fiction piles out of the top five cards of the draft stack. But these are definitely the three I do most often. But do you have another two-player draft format you like? Or have you tried some of these and have a preference? Which are you most excited to try? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll talk with you again soon. And in the meantime, have fun drafting. You got this. Yeah, it's got three starting loyalty. Thoughts on Estrid the Masked? All right, so first, the design. I think the design's really great. It's super cool, really fun. Gives you a deck building hook. Um, the mask tokens are like pretty novel and interesting. And it looks like there's just a lot of stuff you can do with like.